Lulu, just how big could this get? Well, Anna, the Ant Financial Empire, Ant Group Empire, is really the crown jewel of Jack Ma's um, entire e-commerce and fintech uh, conglomerate. And right now, what we're what we're told is that the company could uh, raise as much as 30 billion in an IPO, uh, dual listing in Hong Kong and also Shanghai at the same time. What that means is it could surpass the world's biggest IPO uh, in history, Saudi Aramco's 29 billion IPO. IPO, um, and the company is targeting a valuation of $225 billion, according to people familiar. Lulu Chen, what is the significance of a change to Hong Kong to the U.S. underwriters, not in Shanghai, but in Hong Kong? J.P. Morgan, Morgan Stanley, and Citigroup. How do they delicately traipse this initial public offering, uh, given the Communist Party assertion in Hong Kong? That's a really interesting question, Tom. So right now, uh, it does seem that Ant has intentionally decided not to go to the U.S. Um, it's also very — it's great timing, because right now what we're seeing is a bunch of uh, U.S.-listed Chinese companies also weighing whether they want to delist from the U.S. stock exchanges and come and list in Hong Kong because of the scrutiny the Trump administration is placing on Chinese technology companies and also issuing warnings that um, U.S. Uh, endowment funds, for example, need to sell their stake um, out of these Chinese companies. Um, in Hong Kong right now, companies are just not getting the same level of scrutiny. I think it is the Chinese government's intention to really prop up Hong Kong and also its own star market in Shanghai as an alternative um, to tech listings and also Chinese companies' uh, IPOs. And the geopolitics, of course, might influence the strategy of a business like this going forward. Um, Ant Group, uh, I understand from your story this this uh, this morning, has had to put a limit on its plans to expand in the United States as a result of geopolitics. Where does the growth come from then? What is the pitch that Ant Group will be taking to investors in terms of how big it can be? Yeah, Ant really shifted away from the U.S. expansion strategy. Um, also. Uh, basically hand-in-hand hand with Alibaba's shift away from the U.S. as well. Uh, right now, I think the company is very focused on competing domestically against Tencent. They're not only focusing on fintech, but they're also trying to become an online mall for everything, from loans to travel services to food delivery. And also, Southeast Asia is another huge area that they're looking at. They've invested in nine local startups um, that focus on uh, digital wallets, so th that's a huge area that we need to watch out for.